What's going on my friends? Thank you guys so much for joining me today and we're gonna take a look at some bands that changed a lot. And look, I understand that bands evolve over time and in some cases devolve, but we're looking at bands today that changed like a lot. Like a lot. <laughs> but first, I got a sick game for you guys called Idol Heroes and they are the sponsors for this part of the video. You know, there are some nights when I just want to put down the guitar, not do a video, just connect with a nice, fun, accessible game, and Idol Heroes is what I've been playing lately. And one of the things I love is the art style and animation. It's really cartoony and fun and entertaining, even goofy at times, if you will, so I'm super cool with that. There are six factions in the game with more than 300 unique heroes to collect and battle with. <laughs> and it's just fun to watch the little guys duking it out. It's, you know, boom! There are daily tasks that you can complete in five minutes, but there's longer tasks too. Whatever you want. All you need to bring to the battle is strategy, so if you like strategy games, this game is super strategy E, And it's one of the best at it too, so if you want to play it, click on the link below and download it for free. And a huge thanks to Idle Heroes for sponsoring that part of the video. Alright, so here's our number 10 band that changed a lot. Good old panic at the disco. You know, I come from the A Fever You Can't Sweat Out era. I chime in with they were a sick band, man. I'm telling you. It's much better to face these kind of things. But that's not the bucket, bucket, bucket. But now it's just kind of weird hearing panic at the disco on pop radio. Had to have Ladies and gentlemen, I present five seconds of summer. Or should I say five seconds of summer? Okay, I hate to admit that this actually is kind of catchy. I guess they can officially change their name to Brandon Yuri Project. Now my chemical romance broke up in 2013, but lots of people told me that they changed a lot since their early days of three cheers for sweet revenge. <laughs> three cheers for sweet revenge. And welcome to the Black Parade. And those albums were frickin' so But then the 2010s hit, and My Chemical Romance went from emo to Ono. This sounds like every cheesy indie song in every car commercial ever. Look me in the eyes and tell me I'm wrong. Gerard Way went from emo kid to happy kid that plays way too much World of Warcraft. Like, look how happy he is! I thought you said you weren't a f***ing K. Quick trivia, Guns N' Roses Backwards is Caesar and Snug. Now, early Guns N' Roses didn't change that much. They always had their grungy rock sensibility. But then there was the whole Chinese democracy thing. Which was weird because most of the original Guns N' Roses lineup left or were like kicked out by Axel, who really knows. Mm, get on my band, mm. And really, what, what happened to him? He used to be so pretty. Like back when he played Donna on that 70s show, he was really kinda hot. Right. And look, I don't think Chinese Democracy was a bad album at all. In fact, it was pretty sick to hear Bumblefoot and Buckethead shred. It just wasn't appetite for destruction, Guns N' Roses. Would it have killed them to change the band name to something else? Caesar and Snug? They could have called it that. That's all I'm saying. Yes, you are more than I boogied for. How the hell do you go from Sugar We're Going Down to ripping off the Munsters theme? How do you go from Thinks Murmurs to ripping off Well, fella, but you used to be original. Did you guys just get lazy? 
Oh, well, I guess they did. Patrick Stump didn't even bother to put shoes on. He's still wearing his slippers. Somehow my slippers. I don't know. Maybe it's just hard for me because they were so groundbreaking when I was in high school, bringing emo punk rock to the masses, and now they are just soccer mom radio. Remember me for centuries! More like remember you for five minutes because your music is so unmemorable anymore. Fall out, boy. Do any of you guys remember the early mid 2000s with the emo metal kids and their like black nail polish? Uh, Avenged Sevenfold started off as one of those bands. <laughs> but they are forgiven because after that they came out with City of Evil. Which was marginally mind-blowing a lot, a little bit. But then you fast forward a few years and they definitely became a more basic radio rock band. Dan, dan, dan. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Dan, dan, dan. And they even went to a more basic radio rock look. So much for the days when they were emu. Avenged Nickelfold. No, no, I don't mean that. So, yeah, Hail to the King was still a great album, just more basic. But then they released The Stage, which was more of a return to the original Event Sevenfold E formula. Gotta love when bands change it up a little, but then bring it all right back! So, quick story. I got into my car one day, turn on the radio, uh, and this pop song came on, you know, like typical modern pop radio BS. So I went to change the channel and I saw on the screen, 30 seconds to Mars. I had to change my pants. What happened to this? stuck with this. Can you even see what you're fighting for? <sighs> I can't even believe this is the same band. No, it's not even a band anymore. Where's the instruments? I am finished with them. Jared Leto went from emo god to every guy who just started going to the gym and also has a man bun. Jared Leto went from emo god to Jared in the Technicolor dream coat with every grandma's window curtains underneath. Never thought I'd say that. So yeah, early 2000s, high school. What did everyone listen to? Lincoln Park. Oh, and Lincoln Park. Oh, and Peter, Paul, and Mary. And Lincoln Park. In the end, I thought your name was Heather. This is embarrassing. And now, it's no secret that Lincoln Park just got softer and more poppier over the years. You know, the day I heard a Lincoln Park song on pop radio was the day that the teen in me died a little bit. A lot. Maroon 5, anyone? And who are we fooling? Linkin Park will never be the same again without Chester, so... Now here is the next band on our list. Does anyone care to guess who it is? Yeah. Oh, Poison? No, nope, it's not Poison. Good guess, though. Uh, it's Pantera. You know, the ones who did Cowboys from Hell? That's right, folks. Pantera started off as a glam metal band. Wow. <gasps> I can't even believe that's Dimebag Daryl. In fact, it wasn't until the 90s that they dropped the whole glam metal shtick and became the gods of metal that we know them as now. Leopard print and skinny pants and perms, what was wrong with us? Leopard print and skinny pants and perms, what was wrong with us? Leopard print and skinny pants and perms, what was wrong with us? Leopard print and skinny pants, but now we are here!
Bring me the Horizon. When I was first getting into heavy music, like heavy music, Bring Me The Horizon was one of the first bands I got into. They were like deathcore, kinda. They were mosh pity, they were heavy, and now they're essentially Coldplay. Chris Martin? Is that you? Okay, well maybe not Coldplay, but their newer stuff is definitely a mixture of like standard radio rock to like club techno music. Um, okay. So much for Look, even Ollie Sykes is like, what have I done? Nickelback is heavier than us now. This is catastrophic. Look, you can hate me all you want, but I actually like their new material. It's just crazy different than like their deathcore days. Maybe they'll do rap next, being that Ollie Sykes is already turning into Eminem. And the number one spot goes to... Metallica! No band, and I mean... No band! has changed as much as Metallica has throughout the years. They went from thrash, to metal, to best metal ever made, to cello metal, but still amazing, to I guess we'll do whatever, but we'll like wear these for a coat and eyeliner, to cover band, to orchestra, to movie stars, to Napster, mm, to ping, 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 to whatever the hell this is, to horrible cover band, and back to metal. Here's the thing, man. I make fun of Metallica every chance I get. I do it. I really do. But there's no band I love more, and I will always love Metallica. Even Lars. Even if he kind of looks like Don Rickles now. Now, what bands did I miss? Because there are tons of bands that changed. Leave it in the comments section and keep the conversation going. And thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate you so much. I, you know, <laughs> see you next time.